If there was ever an age where cloud storage was important, it's today. From holding our precious memories to mobilizing our entire music library to making it impossible to lose our homework, there's never been a better time to start putting the internet to work for you. The power and possibilities of cloud storage are almost unlimited, but what are some of the best services that you can use today? This is IG and it's time to talk about the best of cloud storage. So in the next couple of minutes, I want to outline some of the best cloud storage options that are out there today as of November 2016. There are lots of different options out there, but what are the ones that give you the best value for your money or the best value for free? And what are some of the ones that specialize in different areas such as privacy, security, stuff like that? So what I want to talk about first are the big three. So first of all, we have Dropbox. Nearly everybody has heard about Dropbox, so I'm not going to spend much time talking about it. It's one of those options where you can sign up for free, you get a measly two gig of storage, but the plus side is you get the Dropbox app everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Uh, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, Linux, Windows Phone, Blackberry, everything, every device on the planet has a Dropbox client that you can download and use. They also have a unique referral system where you refer other people to Dropbox, you get extra storage, and also using other apps and services that tie into Dropbox can offer, often give you more storage as well. Next up, we have OneDrive from Microsoft. OneDrive gives you a little bit more, five gig, in their free storage tier. And then they also have plans and pricing available for more storage than that. Now the perks of OneDrive is that it integrates very well with Microsoft Office. So if you're in a university or business world where you need to be able to connect those apps together very seamlessly, then OneDrive is a good option to look into. Giving you options like uh, also music backup and photo backup from your camera roll on your phone are also things that aren't necessarily unique to OneDrive, but they do give you quite a few more storage bonuses than some of the other cloud storage options. Again, OneDrive can be seamlessly integrated into Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, all of those different platforms. So OneDrive is definitely worth a look. However, I think the best free cloud storage option for anybody that is not overly concerned with privacy is got to be Google Drive. Google Drive and the services that are associated with Google Drive are pretty incredible. First of all, you get 15 gig of free data out of the box when you first sign up. And you also get access to a lot of other Google services inside the Google ecosystem. Things like Google Photos, where you get unlimited backup of pretty normal resolution photos, either from your camera, uh, Windows, Mac desktop, whether it's from your phone or your tablet. Uh, you can back up all of your photos inside Google Photos, unlimited for life, essentially. Again, there are privacy concerns there that you might want to consider, but for what they provide as a free service, you can really use a lot here. And the same goes for Google Play Music, where you can back up up to 50,000 songs into Google's library and you can access those songs wherever you are. So in terms of utilizing the power of cloud storage, the most bang for your buck, definitely Google Drive and the services that are uh, rolled in with Google Drive is gonna be your best option. Now let's have a look at ones that tailor a little bit more to security and privacy because I realize that is a big issue with cloud storage in 2016. So the two ones that I wanna focus on today are Spider Oak and Own Cloud. Spider Oak is a third party cloud storage backup solution that focuses on having no knowledge of the data that is inside their backup service. Again, all of these solutions that I'm talking about have clients for everything, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS. Now, the good thing with Spider Oak is that while it is a paid service, you do have the assurance of privacy and security, and it also takes a much more granular approach to backing up the stuff that is important to you. Rather than being a cloud storage device where you're constantly uh, loading and unloading data from their cloud storage, it's much more of a backup solution, but a very secure one. And again, privacy conscious customers are gonna be very appreciative of the kind of uh, security and privacy that Spider Oak roll into their services. You also have OwnCloud. OwnCloud is a bit of a do-it-yourself cloud storage solution where you can use a lot of really cool open source technology to make your own storage cloud at home and be able to access the data that you dump on that storage cloud anywhere in the world. So for those who have a bit of a tinkerer's heart, you might wanna give OwnCloud a bit of a look. So 
While all of these storage solutions offer different pricing at different tiers, their free options are very, very compelling. These are the best cloud storage ones that I can come across. Let me know what you guys have found in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, to borrow another YouTuber's saying. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.